Hello, let's talk about Sarah Pauli's uh, collection of autobiographical essays, A Run Towards the Danger, a 2022 collection by the uh, Academy Award winning screenwriter uh, who's, uh, who has had a very eventful li life uh, as a uh, child star uh, growing up with uh, a, a mother who who actually did not grow up with her when she died when she was like 11 um as a as a as a, as this child star on kind of what i consider kind of canadian pablum of like rogue to avonlea uh that 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 kind of golden hued kind of sentimentalized view of of the good old days in in canada and, Spoiler, the, the actual star of the show didn't actually think very much of it herself at the time. She was probably as snarky and as, um, she was probably more politically aware than I, but I just immediately reacted against that sort of stuff. And she's really risen as an incredibly talented, sharp and incisive, uh, director and writer of, uh, movies uh, in her, in her own right. And I kind of came into this book going like, okay, She's sort of, for Canada, she is a celebrity. Is this going to be one of these kind of celebrity books where it's written by somebody who's not really a writer? And I mean, she obviously is a writer. Hello, Academy Award for adapted Best Adapted Screenplay. But that's one sort of skill. Is she going to be able to kind of hold herself uh, in a book? And uh, the really good thing about this collection was that, yes, yes, at least as a personal essayist, um, she's very much able to actually in some of the early sections, it felt like maybe she was, um, leaning a little on the high, more kind of intellectualized side of things, which I mean is fine in your stuff, but it, it almost felt like it was, okay, I'm someone who's coming into this space. Who's probably just seen as an actress or whatever. So I have to kind of prove my creds. Uh, and I found like as, as the essays went along, they became more personal, more, um, less less intellectual um frameworks needing to get put around stuff the the the, the connect the the subtitle of the book is confrontations um with a body of memory and that may sound a little intellectualized until you find out about the kind of the very many bodily issues that actually come up in this book uh she she had a childhood scoliosis uh, that had to have surgery on she had to have a brace on so very much kind of that way uh in the later parts of the book um, she has to get, she has to kind of, um, find her way through having a concussion, which severely, uh, limited, um, how much stuff, basically sensory input, uh, um, just how she was able to deal with the world that took a real good break in there for her to kind of get back to the point where she is now like, you know, last night accepting an award for the, uh, for best, best adapted screenplay for, uh, women talking. So um, yeah, yeah, uh, it was a really interesting, it was, she, you know, it's like, she's relatively still like a young, young woman, at least consider from my viewpoint as a 50 year old guy, young woman, she's God damn it. But, um, she's had qu quite the life, uh, as that child, as a child star, uh, as someone working, having worked in the industry as a child, the entertainment industry, and you really come away from this book going, no children should be allowed to be in this goddamn industry, especially someone when you're the 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 lead, whether that is the road to Avonlea or whether that is um you know mourning where you're mourning the death of your mother and put back to work again, and you know that that or uh, being on a on stage playing Alice uh, of Alice in Wonderland fame, um in a kind of a deeply creep, creep, creepy production that's going to be like, oh, how wonderful Lewis Carroll that pedophile was or that wannabe pedophile was. Uh, just that that sort of stuff. Uh, how how the, the massive pressures put on children. Or uh, later, working with Terry Gilliam, who has become more and more known as a real asshole, who um, 
operated had really unsafe conditions i mean not only for just the adults on that set but for uh sarah Pauli as a child and they're not being proper safeguards for her it was basically assumed oh well, that that's what the parents are for however this is the meal ticket as well and actually saying no to a director on this massive production with all this with all this money riding on it uh it's like it's it's recipe for horrible uh child endangerment and and uh destruction and it's, it's a movie that i quite quite have fond memories of uh the adventures of uh, uh baron uh, baron munchausen is was the production where she's almost like freaking blown up by terry gilliam just like really really terrible stuff there so there's all that um there is the fact that she went on a violent date with gian gameshi which if you're not canadian that uh he was sort of an early uh if not almost pre me too movement thing of this uh cbc um talk show host uh personality or actually radio talk show host but on the cbc who uh was it was who was violent towards choked women uh for his own his own kicks now he was acquitted of all charges uh after uh the women were hauled up the women who were actually who could act who could had the resources could go to go actually stand up in court and testify against him where they were completely ripped to shreds by uh the um by by uh, the defense the, the, the defense team um and really it's one of these things of like oh you've just had a horrible trauma you should have all the details exactly perfect in your head you should not lean on each other for any support that's collusion uh, all these all these things which are fucking nonsense uh were put together and she talks about how because of who she knew uh that she didn't come forward and they're like saying like don't come forward do not come forward and it's because she knew lawyers who were like do i i would never ever allow anyone i knew to come forward to to testify in this this will horribly traumatize you which it indeed did to uh, the women who had already been traumatized by Gian Gameshi, the dirt bag uh, in question here. So um, she cut, but she, you know, she's got to kind of go through, I didn't come forward in that case. Uh, and this is why, and kind of sharing that story. And I mean, boy, uh, I, I was I, very much following that case when it came out and it, she does a, she, it, it's not something you can blame her for, but she's someone who like, her her most recent movie which she just won the academy award for about is about women getting horribly abused in a community and them talking about what they're going to do about it uh, how they're going to deal with this situation women women talking um and uh yeah the final the final essay about uh which is sort of the run towards the danger uh is about her dealing with uh concussion and that was the kind of the one that I probably found the most personally hard to read uh, of them because I'm not my I I'm very close <laughs> with somebody who has a concussion and is still dealing with concussion who um is slowly working working their way out of it or working to deal with it it hasn't it hasn't gone away it probably never will go away um and there's 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 a part of me that because the, it's very much kind of like oh you should flood yourself with anything that kind of triggers you or anything that kind of overwhelms you that puts up that wall that you run towards you should just keep on going through it and i'm really glad that that worked for sarah Polly. there's a part of me that's like okay well this is a personal essay this isn't like a medical journal saying that this is going to work for everyone and i don't think she's trying to trying to put forward that it should work for everyone Though there's there's a part of me that goes, I hope someone with a concussion doesn't read this and try this method and it doesn't work for them and feels horrible about themselves. I mean, I think there's such an individual thing of what's going to work for you. What may work for one person may not work for another person. Uh, and, you know, what the kind of levels of severity of concussion you have. Um, so that was the only one where it's like, it's when you get into kind of describing medical stuff in a personal essay, 
there's there's definitely a thing. Maybe I do feel like there should have been a little bit more of caveats there of like, this is my experience. This is what happened to me. I mean, I'm not dumb. I know that's what it is. But there was that sort of feeling. That was the only one I'm just like, Ugh, I, I don't know how I feel about it. Other than that, just like really thoughtful, really um, kind of self really seemed like kind of like some it, the best kind of personal essay like this isn't something where it's just like she's not like justifying all her decisions and saying and saying I was right this is like no I'm gonna really examine myself I'm gonna confront uh this this the this these incidents in my life and I'm gonna really interrogate them and I'm maybe not always gonna come out as uh the best person but um, by doing that, you actually do come out as the best kind of person because you're someone who's who understands I am not perfect, um, but that I'm also kind of that strength, strength of character to be able to kind of to, to look at this stuff and uh, discuss it and uh, really has value for other people to read about it. So, yeah, yeah, that is Sarah Pauli's uh, collection of personal essays, Run Towards the Danger. All right. I've been Jay. More videos later.